A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 7 to 14. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear His voice. Harden not your hearts as at rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for forty years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, today we are on Thursday. 12th of January 2023. We are in the first week of the ordinary time of the liturgy of the church. The gospel is once again from Mark chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. We have another encounter. Jesus encounters the people possessed by evil powers the people who are sick. And now here today we have another encounter with offer of Jesus with a man, a person with a, a dreaded skin disease. Now imagine, let us try to enter into the heart of this person. Now he knows very well that he is cornered by the society. He is cornered by the people because of their skin disease, most probably white skin disease or another according to the gospel. It's a dreaded one, so it is contagious. Now, but see the, the beauty, the depth of his faith that he expresses when he says to the Lord, Lord, if you want to, you can clean me. You can make me clean. If you want, if it is your will, I can be clean. I can be healed. I can be made anew. 
This is the depth of faith that Jesus is asking all of us, you and me, to have in our life. If you want to, you can make me clean. Now, Jesus reacts. Jesus reacts to, this, to his humility and to his faith. Therefore, Jesus makes use of that play, moment in order to teach everyone that he has the power to heal. Imagine Jesus stretches out his hands. He touches, he touches the man with the dreaded skin that nobody would dare to touch him and he would not dare to approach. But Jesus does not care for the even to the, the danger of being able to touch. Jesus touches him. He stretches out his hand. He's there to help. He's there to touch and heal. In fact, he is healed. He is made anew because Jesus has pity on him. Jesus valued the faith and humility of that person with a dreaded skin disease. Let us not fail to have faith of that nature. Never give up. Let us trust in him. He is able to heal us.